This is Osprey I from MyChartCoach.com, and we are looking at ticker symbol FLSR. Okay, this we're going to look at um, four different charts here, and this first chart is a daily chart. Okay, this this keeps coming up on everybody's radar. Everybody's been talking about it for days because uh, of this the, this drop here. You have twelve red candles in a row. Count them. There's twelve of them. Big, huge drop from way up here at two cents all the way down now to a low of 0 0.0006. So this is just a nasty, nasty downtrend. What we call here, this is this is catch a falling knife. So um, people were trying to play the bounce. As you can see, it started finding support here. The, these lower wicks show people loading off of low a day. People are thinking, okay, this is it, ready to ready to bounce. Nope, didn't happen. Down again. Okay, well, we're going to hit this bottom. Okay, it's ready to go. Nope, not again. So you keep having people. You know, obviously, there's probably people day trading off these off these lows, these lower wicks here, uh, intraday. But that's also people loading, trying to time the bounce. Okay, so everybody's trying to time this bounce, and that's not what you want to do. You don't want to. You don't want to just guess. As this chart shows, where, where's the bottom? Where's resistance? What do I do from here? Well, you need to look at the next chart. Okay, this chart is 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 another daily chart, and what it's showing are EMAs four and eight, and and the Bollinger Bands. Okay, EMA four is this purple line here. That's at zero point zero 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 nine. Okay, if you've been in our chat, if you've been on our website, then you know that I've repeatedly said over and over again, wait until a close above EMA4 to go long on FLSR or to look for a bullish trade. Because until there's a close above this purple line, it will continually, uh, the, the signal will continue to be downside risk. So instead of trying to guess, instead of trying to, to to uh, you know, time this through through uh, through through guessing that this is a bounce. Instead, use technical analysis by by knowing that this EMA four is the key resistance level. Look how each candle hits it and it fails to break. Look how the highs of day keep hitting it. Uh, on this day here, last week. Um, See, it was last Thursday. It looked intraday like, okay, this is the day. It looked like, wow, it had broke above EMA4 intraday. That was the first time that it really got above it. And, and uh, you know, we were talking about it intraday, that, that this could be the day. But the, still, the key was to wait. You still needed to wait until the very end of day. You have to wait until the market closes and there's a close above this purple line for the bull signal, for the signal that there's potentially more upside. Until there's a close above this purple line, it, it, there will continue to be downside risk. How how much further? Well, a stock can go to 0 0.001. We all know this. And then it could reverse split and go even further. So the key is uh, don't catch a falling knife. Wait. Wait for this for this this close above the, the EMA4. And then when that happens, that's going to put this green line, which is the EMA8 at 0 0.0024 on deck. And that 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 that's the trade. Okay, so the trade isn't trying to time the bounce down here and guess. The trade is actually between this purple line and this green line. So that's that's what we're looking for. Okay, so we're looking for a close above this purple line, and that's going to signal a possible run to this green line, which will be the the sell zone. As you can see here, there this is a a, a point of support. All right, and and it was also the the high of the wick here. Okay, so um, you know e the the fifty day moving or the EMA is dropping. So you know if this continues to go down, this will be lower tomorrow. But <clears throat> what the 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 trade is going to be between these two two levels when it finally sets up. So that's that's what you want to do if you're looking at this play. You want to you want to look at it as as a trade potentially between the purple and the green lines and you you want to wait what, what you want to do if you're looking at this as a potential bounce play you just want to be tracking it every single day watching waiting for the setup what this is what we call stalking your prey you want to stalk your prey you don't want to jump in too early you don't want to catch a falling knife um, if you look down here at MACD there was this bullish crossover um, so that that was signaling that 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 this is finding support but as you can see the, the share prices continue to drop so uh, you know once again needs to find support and break that line um, up here this is extreme oversold fasto is at 0 0.00 okay that that doesn't get any lower so this is this is as oversold as it gets and then you have RSI up here at 13.003 so this is just extreme 
move to the downside, which many times when they bounce, you get a nice uh, you get a nice move because there's so much tension built up to the downside. Okay, so let's look at the and then as you can see, there's big volume, lots of lots of volume down here for this thinly traded traded stock. Okay, the next the next chart here is a five minute chart. Okay, and this is showing the uh, two days of action yesterday and today. So as you can see, candles have been forming below this middle Bollinger Band, and they're riding the EMA's four and eight resistance lower. See how they keep hitting the lower Bollinger Band. Okay, bulls, you need to see a move above the middle Bollinger Band for for a new uptrend to begin. It's currently at zero point zero 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 eight. So um, <clears throat> what you want to be doing is watching the intraday charts because they will signal the reversal first. Okay, so um, the, you know you, you need to see that candles are finding support on the on the five minute and fifteen minute charts, uh, but before you'll see this break on the on the daily chart. So this is where the 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 reversal will will happen first. And as you can see, there's this big downtrend. Um, candles are riding down here on the. Um, you know they're riding this lower Bollinger Band. This is a 15-minute chart. Each candle on this chart represents 15 minutes of trading, and see, and then they're riding the uh, the upper Bollinger Band resistance level. So there's this downtrending channel, and and uh, it, when stocks are downtrending, they're riding EMA's four and eight resistance lower. So you can see there was a break above. This is the day where there's that where, where it looked like maybe it was going to close above EMA four. But as you can see, uh, midway through the day on the fifth, middle Bollinger Band support broke and that signaled downside risk. So what you want to see if you're a bull right now, you're down here again below the uh, lower Bollinger Band. Okay, this is extreme oversold levels. Um, usually you're getting a bounce off of this level. Uh, what you want to see is a, a first 0 0.0007 for EMA's 4 and 8 res resistance to break. And then you want to see candles forming above the middle Bollinger Band. You want to see this downtrend level and start going up. You want to see a new uptrend begin. That will not happen until the middle Bollinger Band at 0.008 turns into support. Okay, so this is this is a little explaining to you on on how to uh, play a downtrend, or you know how to uh, play a potential bounce play for a, a strong downtrending stock with 12 days down. Um, this is a, a you know a, a setup that that bounce players look for. Okay, because eventually it's going to bounce. You know, stocks don't keep dropping forever. So we're, we're watching the situation and we're looking for a close above EMA4 at 0 0.0009. If, if you like this information and you want to learn more, please visit our website. Um, you know, we're all about education. This is about teaching you how, how to read the charts. This is about teaching you how, how to do this on your own. That is the point of these videos. It's the point of the website. It's to, to put you in a position where you can be making your decisions through technical analysis without having to think it's taking the emotion out of the game there's no emotion when you're when you're trading using technical analysis and that's what we're trying to teach you okay i hope you're having a great day please check out the website thank you